Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, just Tiffany B, and I'm back with another video. So as you can tell by the title, I'm here to talk about some more makeup. And today we're talking about Kim Kardashian West coming out with her new contour kit on June 21st. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. Now, before we get started, I have one quick disclaimer. This video is merely just to talk about my opinions, views, and comparison on new makeup that are coming out. So in no way, shape, or form am I trying to force you guys to believe what I think. I'm just here to talk about new makeup. And as I'm here to talk about new makeup, I also am interested to hear what you guys think about the product that's recently coming out. So now that we got that out of the way, let's seriously go ahead and start the talk. So for a while, I've been hearing speculation about Kim coming out with her own cosmetics line. I feel like since like last year, I've been hearing rumors about it. But recently, as you guys seen on social media, she started her cosmetics line and she's coming out with a new kit. The website is up and everything. You can set up an email, all that good stuff. Now, personally, I have mixed emotions about her starting her own cosmetics line. I do applause anyone that want to go out there and start their own cosmetics line, do your own thing, be creative, and show the world what you got to put out into the beauty world. Like, come on, I love makeup. If she's coming out with more different, affordable things, let me see what you got, girl. You know? But the only thing... I'm like, I feel like it's slight messiness because I don't know if she's trying to get into the cosmetics world just so she could step into her sister's shine light and see if she could take over. She did start a cosmetics line, you know, back in the day and it didn't go too successful. She started it with her older sisters, Chloe and Courtney, and it wasn't so successful. So I'm very interested of why she's giving it another go. This time is by herself. I hope her motives are true and she's just really excited just to dive right on in. But I'm also excited to see what she has in store for us. So we shall see. We shall see. The first product that she's coming out with is a contour kit. And honestly, I'm not surprised that she's coming out with a contour kit because um, when I think Kim Kardashian, I think nudes and I think contour. So maybe in the future she's going to be coming out with her own nudes. But for off the bat, she's starting off with a contour kit. Now, it comes with three products in one bag. Now, you're you're going to get a brush, a dual-ended brush. There's going to be an actual brush on one side and a cut-in-half beauty sponge. Um, so all together, that's going to be the perfect contour tool that you need in this kit. Another set that you will be receiving is the contour stick. There's one contour stick and one highlighting stick. Now the contour stick, one has a darker end and one has a lighter end. And also for the highlighter, one's a highlight for like underneath the eyes, um, down at the bottom of your cheeks, the tip of your nose, and the other one is just to like shimmer and brighten, you know? So for everything in that kit, it's $48. Now, I'm not mad at the price because you're getting so much in the kit. The only thing is, me personally, I'm not a fan of cream contouring because, I don't know if as you could tell, but I am a oily, oily person and I don't want to have to put on creams because I'm going to set it with a powder. And that causes more layers of makeup being caked onto my skin that's quickly, easily caused to have cakiness. So me and creams, we don't really mix. So I already know off rip I won't be getting this um, kit that's coming out. But I want to see what you guys think about the kit. Um, let me know how you feel about the price and all that good stuff. Alright, now if you follow Kim on Snapchat and also on Instagram stories, she did go ahead and swatch the kits on her hands. Now, when I saw the shades, I do want her applause her for coming out with various shades. It's not so many different options. There's four options, light, medium, deep, and dark deep. Now, that dark deep could reach a lot of deep girls out there, and I want to say thank you for making it reach the end of the spectrum almost. But it's the in-between that she needs to fill in with more colors, but I'm not going to... 
I'm not going to nitpick because I'm very proud of her for coming out with a very deep dark shade that um, women people of color could go ahead and try. The only thing about stick contours and the shades that she's coming out with, if I were to get a set, I was kind of torn in between getting the medium and the deep. And the reason why is because sometimes I want to mix and match my shades. Does that mean I have to get two kits? That's going to wrap me up about $100 because I want one shade from the medium and one shade from the dark because medium will be too light for me but there's one shade that will work in there for me but dark would be too dark for me but there's one shade in there that will work for me so I can't pull the two together and make my own customized kit I would have to end up getting two kits and nah that's <laughs> that ain't for me <laughs> like I'm already not a fan of creams if I was to give it a try I'm not about to chance it by getting two kids so it'll work for me mm -mm. but you guys let me know by telling by looking at the shades do you guys perfectly could choose a kit without uh can that really fit me all together now when i do see the kit i was quickly reminded of the urban decay um shape shifting contour kit it comes with creams and it comes with powders to set it with so it's like an all-in-one contour kit and it's for $45 so as soon as I saw her contour kit I'm like oh my gosh Urban Decay just came out with something similar something of a contour set so I'm like which one do you guys prefer though other than the Urban Decay sh is shape shape shifting palette <laughs> there we go shape shifting palette there we go other than that palette as soon as I saw her stick contour I was like huh that looks a lot like NYX contour stick okay that looks a lot like it I haven't seen a highlighter stick like that if you guys know of a highlighter stick that's similar to that let me know down below I'll be glad to check it out but as soon as I saw the contour stick I'm like yeah that's NYX right there that is NYX on the NYX contour stick it has a deep shade and it has a highlighting shade at the top so it's like a two-in-one instead of having contour contour and then highlight highlight it's just one stick that has a contour and a highlight on the other hand all right so the NYX contour stick it rings up for $11.99 and if you do purchase it at Ulta if you do purchase it at a good time um, you could get um, buy one get one half off with NYX products um, so if you didn't want to like pick up two shades you could buy one stick and then to get the other stick half off another contour stick is wet and wild and it's also dual ended with a contour and then a highlight on the other side that is for four dollars and sixty eight cents haven't tried that one personally I have tried the NYX one before and it does you can build it up but if you are like afraid to like put too much it does start off sheer so you could blend it out easily and you can build it up if you do want to you guys there's like a lot of contours kits out there you guys just let me know your thoughts about the kit itself um i'm actually really excited to see what else she's coming out with with her cosmetics line you never know what she's going to come out with next so i hope it's not like her mimicking her sister kylie and i hope she's not really stepping on her toes i really hope that she comes out be her own person be unique with the products that she comes out with and i really honestly can't wait to see what she has in store for us so feel free to sound off in the comments down below go ahead and give it a like if you like this video and i guess i'll see you guys with another video Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, you guys. Oh, by the way, if you're already sounding off in the comments, I'm planning on going to Gen Beauty Canada. Um, who else is going to be there? Let me know. I'm actually excited to go to Canada because I haven't went before. So quick PS. If you're going, let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, let's mingle. <laughs> Bye, you guys.